Welcome to One Book, One Review. Hey everybody. Today's book is Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford. It's the second book about literal tech Thursday next. And after reading the first book, this was a lot less weird. Nevertheless, I had problems summarizing the book for you, as there are just so many things happening, like an increase of coincidences, the disappearance of Thursday's husband, and the looming end of the world. Then there's also the Goliath company that wants Jack shit retrieved from the Raven. And on top of that, Thursday learns how to jump into books without using a prose portal. As you can see, there's just so many things going on. As a reader, you follow Thursday as she tries to overcome all the obstacles that people throw into her way. And did I mention that someone tries to murder her as well? Lost in a Good Book is just full of strange ideas. In the air affair, we were already introduced to the differences that Thursday's world holds to ours. But in this book, we delve deeper into the fictive world. We have fictive characters talking to other fictive characters about not being fictive at all. What a loon, she muttered. I said that already. Farewell, miss. Miss, I beg your pardon, but I don't know your name. It's Thursday. Thursday next. What a strange name. She gave a small curtsy in a half-joking way. I'm Marianne Dashwood, and I welcome you, Miss Next, to Sense and Sensibility. Thank you, I replied. I'm sure I shall enjoy it here. I'm sure you shall. We all enjoy it a great deal. Do you think it shows? I think it shows a great deal, Miss Dashwood. Call me Marianne if it pleases you. May I be so bold as to ask you a favor? Of course. She came closer and sat on the seat with me holding my hand and staring into my eyes intently. Please, I wonder if I might be so bold as to ask you when your own book is set. I'm not a book person, Miss Dashwood. I'm from the real world. The boundaries between fiction and reality grow soft in the novel while remaining strong outside. Or aren't they? This is advertising in the book. It is intriguing and also the way that people can talk with each other via footnotes. For a lover of footnotes like me, this is just ingenious, and not only because it reminds us of Thursday's fictitious nature. However, although I like the ideas and the methods Ford applies in this book, it wasn't a fast and easy read for me. I guess I'm enjoying the makeup of the story more than the actual reading of it. I'll still continue to read the series as I want to know what happens next. And let's be honest, which book lover wouldn't love the idea of jumping into a book and meeting the characters? What do you think? Which book would you jump into? Thank you all for watching and have a very nice weekend. Bye bye.